What's up, spectators? Welcome back to another episode of Fire Emblem Fates Birthright. We're gonna begin chapter 26 here in a second, but we do have two conversations, so I want to get out of the way. Hello there, Lord Corin. Orochi, thanks for sharing those funny stories about my mother last time. I fear I made her out to be a buffoon. Far from the truth. You did no such thing. You revealed the side I'd never have known. But she had many facets. That woman was a gem. I'd like to tell you about the side of her that was kindness itself. I'm all ears. She was kind enough to treat me with the greatest respect. My family has long served as diviners at the royal palace. But we've been treated very poorly. I can't believe that. Really? We diviners tell as many bad fortunes as good, which can make us unpopular. How unjust. To speak the truth and be blamed for it. Indeed. But my fate was changed when I met Lady Makoto. She treated me like her own daughter, no matter what fortunes I told her. A rare soul, I guess. The rarest. Why, once I saw enemies outside the palace. I rushed at them, tried to drive them off by myself, and got hurt badly. She wept at my bedside that night, and many nights after. Once I got better, Lady Makoto said I must never run off like that again. To make sure that I didn't, she made me one of her personal attendants. Sounds like perfection. Lady Makoto was so kind, being in her presence was like basking in the sun. A beautiful memory. Thanks for sharing. Of course. Now if you'll excuse me, Lord Korn. Those are all the memories that Orochi has in her right now. I'm still thinking about that talk I had with Lady Hanoka the other day. She said she couldn't count on her retainers, but maybe I can help. Is that her over there? She looks a little unsteady. Whew! Lady Hanoka, are you okay? Oh, don't worry, I'm fine. Just a little dizzy's all. I don't want to lecture you, Lady Hanoka. But do you think you may be working too hard? Not in the least. But we fought in a battle today, and yet you're also training. Why don't you take it easy for a little bit, even just a single day? I suppose you have a point. I'll go rest in the shade of that tree over there. Is that enough? Yes, here, I'll walk with you in case you need a hand. Thanks. Can't believe I got that exhausted. I know I said it before, but you really should learn to rely on others more. We're all willing to help out if you just ask. I'll make a point to remember that. I don't mean to worry everyone. I just feel like I haven't reached my full potential, so I have to keep working. Oh, wipe that look off your face. I promise I'll rest for the remainder of the day. I'll head back to my room for now. Good. I can escort you there. Don't worry, I can make it. I'll talk to you later. Even when exhausted, she's fast. And that's everyone! Alright, here we go. Chapter 26, Xander. Leo's aid allows the group to defeat Iago. Close to the throne room, they encounter the most powerful enemy they have yet faced in battle. Listen. Laszlo, Perry, I must speak with you too. My lord. Yes, Lord Xander. I assume this is about Lord Korn and his allies. Where will we be engaging the enemy? Yes. Ooh, I can't wait for them to get here. When does the stabby part begin? I won't allow it! The two of you will remain here. This isn't your fight. Uh, come on! But I want to spill someone's blood! This is important. Hmm? Are you concerned that we're not up to the task, my lord? No. No, that's not it at all. I have full faith in both of you as ever. However, I must face Korn in single combat. This is the only way to limit unnecessary casualties. Enough blood has been spilled. That's why I need you two to remain here. Help keep the Norian soldiers at bay. I see. But, my lord, how do you know that Korn will agree to your terms? I don't trust those Hoshido brigands one bit. We should be nearby just in case. Yep. I agree. That way I can pop out and kill anyone you need me to. Ugh. I won't say this again. You are to stay behind in this room. Period. Uh. Aww. Uh. But, Lord Xander... I'm sorry. Look, I trust the two of you more than you even know. That's why I'm asking you to help me in this way. We fought valiantly together, and I will always cherish my memories with you both. Why? Why are you saying these things? This isn't goodbye. Huh. Yeah, I don't like this. Ugh. I'm afraid we're out of time. I must go! Uh. Wait, Lord Xander. 
Don't move. You're not allowed to leave this room. Is that clear? Oh. Yes, my lord. <laughs> this isn't how it's supposed to be. What's going on, Laszlo? Well... I don't know. But we must follow Lord Xander's orders. Are we almost there? Yep. Father's room is at the top of this tower. Understood. Thanks. Perhaps we should rest for a moment before ascending. We've all been through a lot just to get here. How troubling. That's an excellent idea, but sadly it doesn't appear we'll get the chance. Huh? Why's that? Well... Look who's waiting for us. Big brother. Xander. You're here. At last. Once and for all. Excalibur. From you. a eunuch to king, I'm looking for him. I'm going to California. Hello, Corrin. You've done well to make it this far. Listen. It's been a long journey. I was hoping I wouldn't have to face you like this. No. For all your trials, you're still so naive. Did you think I'd let anyone, even you, kill father right in front of me? If you insist on toppling Nor, you'll have to get through me first. Please stop! Do you truly have to fight like this? Korn is still our brother, and all he wants is peace. What? Elise! What are you doing? Have you abandoned Nor as well? What? That's not it. I just want our family to go back to the way it was. How very amusing. I see. Is that child's logic how you swayed Camilla and Leo? I'm afraid it won't work on me. As the crown prince of Nor, I don't have the luxury of being so naive. There's nothing you can do, or say, to dissuade me from protecting Father and Nor. I'll stop Corn here and now. It's the only way. Oh no! Stay alert. Hold fast, everyone. As long as no one from Nor intervenes, neither shall we. Don't worry yourself. Don't worry, this isn't a trick. And I won't attack Corn because before he's ready. You see, I'm here without the support of my retainers or any soldiers. This is between you and me, little prince. Let us begin. Uh. Understood. Now then. There isn't much space here. Let's step over into the Great Hall. Hey! Wait! Stand down! Stand back, Elise. There's no need for you to see this. Ah! But! Don't move! I told you not to move. Ah! So Elise. bossy. I tried, Elise, but you knew all along that this might happen. <laughs> I'm sorry, Corn. I'm sorry I couldn't talk Xander out of this. Ah. It's okay. I'm glad you came all the way here with us. And no matter what happens... Having you as my sister has been the best thing that ever happened to me. I don't understand. No matter what happens, please don't say things like that. This is my chance! It's time for me to go now. <laughs> How? There's gotta be something more I can do. I can't lose my family forever. I'm sorry, Xander, but I can't obey you this time. Let's do this! I won't just let Corn and Xander kill each other. What are you gonna do? There's no way this is gonna be a battle let us with begin. no soldiers. All right, Corrin, time to settle this. I hope you've taken all my training to heart. Don't hesitate like you always used to. Do you understand? This isn't a mock battle. Here I am! I won't hesitate as long as you promise not to go easy on me. I'm not the same person I used to be. I've got a flag and cat ear things and an <laughs> eye patch. I hope that's true, otherwise this will be a sad short fight. <laughs> Here goes nothing. <laughs> Oh, that was a good fight. Leo wasn't kidding. Xander is stronger than I remember. But I can't afford to lose. You're much stronger than before. I'm impressed. But I'm afraid it's still not enough. The end. Corrin. He's losing. Leave us! This is my fight. Is that all? What's wrong, Corn? Is that really all you've got? Ah! Xander, please try to understand. You've got so much power. Join me and use it in service of justice. 
Together we can easily overthrow King Garen. Justice. Justice is an illusion. When kingdoms and lives are at stake, there's no justice to be found anywhere. Don't you see that by now? So much blood! You're wrong. Justice does exist. It's not black and white like some believe, but it's there all the same. Open your eyes. Very well. You will die fighting for your cause. I shall defend my homeland! Elise! Elise, please, speak to me. Oh, oh Sander, your sword. Lay it down for me. Oh. Nor needs more from you. Not just your strength. What we need is caring and a warm hand and tears that's the way try to be at peace No way is he gonna not attack me now. Why? This can't be happening. Wake up, you can't die like this. No! No. Get up, Corn. let's end this. How can you keep fighting like nothing's happened? Elise just died in your arms, arms, arms trying to stop us from fighting. Yet you just wanna pick right up where we left off. I know, that's why this fight will be our last. Get up. It can't be. All she wanted was peace and for us to be a family again. She hated seeing us fight. Please. Don't make me say it again. Draw your sword. Ah. Prepare yourself. Ah. Oh. That's it. Fine, as you wish. I guess you're not the brother I remember, Xander. I'm so sorry I couldn't save you. And it doesn't look like I'll be able to make your last wish come true either. But I can still end this war. Bring peace to the kingdoms. Xander, you taught me to be brave. You taught me how to wield power. The time has come for me to show you what I've learned. If you have any last words, now's the time. <sighs> Is everything okay? No. Is that Lady Elise? What happened to her? What? I told you two to stay out of this. What are you doing here? <sighs> we both had such a bad feeling about this whole thing, and we thought it better to risk punishment than regret inaction. <sighs> Besides, they must have double-crossed you. Which one of you did this to Lady Elise? <sighs> no, Elise was... As I commanded before, stay out of this. That is an order. I don't wanna... No way. Like Laszlo said, we don't care if you're mad. We want to make sure you don't get killed, so we brought some troops. I will protect you. Against your orders, if necessary, we will protect you. Nothing will change our minds on this. I told you it was gonna just be a simple fight. Troubling. Watch out, everyone. Xander's retainers just arrived with a team of soldiers. What? So much for this duel, cowards. Prepare to engage. Bring it on. None of you fiends will get within shouting distance of Lord Xander. Time for some killing. At least, not in one piece. Oh! This isn't what I wanted. Yeah, good job, idiot. Okay. Hmm. One more unit, huh? All right, I'm gonna try bringing on Myoji along.
I don't think I need to optimize anyone. Oh, wait. I do for the heals. There we go. Almost done. All right, I think that's it. Actually, hold on. Where is uh, Takumi? Okay. All right, ready to go. Oh, sorry. One more thing. Where is Rinka? Here we go. Whenever I optimize, it always gets rid of her, um... Come on, store that. Get your damn hammer. Defeat the boss. Are you trying to tell me? Holy crap. I really can end it. I wonder if they want to. I mean, there are a lot of units on the board. That might be what they want me to do. All right, I'll give it a go. Fight without fear or hesitation. Don't hold back. I promise you that I won't. I won't surrender! I won't. I know I've never bested you before, but that changes now. Let us begin. That's the spirit. Come at me! Ooh. Not a great start for him. Okay, where's Rinka? Whoa, this guy's strong! Holy smokes! I welcome the challenge. Now face my wrath! Jeez! With her defense? That's insane! Okay, where's Felicia? I need you right now. So strong. Let's go together. That went well. We are getting a shit ton of experience for this. Oh no. They're in the range. This is bad. Ryoma, stop this! B uh, yeah, protect him! Oh man, this is not good. I'll try and prepare in case it doesn't end in the next turn, but this is not good. I like the music, though. <sighs> Alright, hold on. Move you down here. Move you down. You already got the Dragonstone equipped. Good. Alright, this- Ah, uh, uh, hold on. Alright. What was that? What, what was that move? Come on! You die! No! Here comes the level up. <laughs> Oh, he's using a ranged attack! And he missed again! Alright, hold on, let me, let me, uh... Maybe I can get some experience out of this. 43! That's what I'm talking about! I feel good. Oh, not even a level up! At least I, I can't get attacked back. Okay. This 
I knew you can do it. I'm proud of you. He totally let me win. Brother! Your technique was flawless. You finally stopped holding yourself back. It's what I've always tried to teach you. You're becoming the leader I always knew you could be. Excuse me, victory music! This is my chance! This is n not the time. This is a sad moment. You are stronger than before. You've done well, Corrin. No, I'm still so weak. I'm still no match for you. Why'd you let me win, Xander? Tell me why! Ugh. Why? Answer me. I fought so hard to be stronger. But it's still not enough. You still ended up protecting me in the end. It's just like when we always train together. <laughs> Dry those eyes, little prince. Do you know what my favorite memory is? Sharing a laugh with you, Elise, Camila, and Leo around the dinner table. I think Leo had his boots on the wrong feet that day. In my heart, I have so many memories of us siblings laughing together. Those were the happiest days of my life. Why? Then why did it have to end this way? Why'd we have to fight? If you had just listened to Elise, or to me, neither of you would have had to die. No. You can't throw your life away on if only, little prince. You chose a path, but I never had that choice. I am the Crown Prince of Noor. My fate was sealed the day I was born. Big Brother, there is no time for tears. I like to think that things could have turned out differently in another world. We could have ended the war together, fighting side by side. Ugh. No! Xander, stay with me! Ugh. I'm here, Korn. I'm sorry I let you slip away from me, as Crown Prince. I didn't have the option of picking sides like you or Leo or the rest. So I really did intend to kill you for the good of Noor. But in the end, I did what I always told you not to do. I let my feelings overrule my duty. In the end, it was my undoing. Is that justice? I won't allow it! That's not fair, Xander. You think you can just say something like that and die on me? I'll never be as good as you. I see that now. I've always looked up to you. You can't leave. I... You've already I... prevailed, little prince, don't you see? I couldn't lead this world or Nor into peace, but you can, and you will. You can do the things I couldn't. That's how you'll surpass me. And Metal Gear, in the end. Uh, Xander. I'm counting on you. Father Garen, he's... Not what he used to be. What? I think I understand. I promise to stop him. Thank you. Now it's time to say goodbye. Please don't cry. No. <laughs> Zaka! <laughs> Everyone. I suppose we have to keep going. It's what they would have wanted. If I stayed here crying, Xander would have gently scolded me. To honor their sacrifices, I must carry on their honorable legacy. I must be a light in the dark, just like Elise was. And I must be a kind and determined leader, just like Xander. If we can't stop King Garen, then all this death will have been in vain. Come on, everyone, it's time. Very well. You could do this, Corrin. Thank you. Thank you, Azura. Everyone, we're almost at the end. King Garen awaits. Xander, Elise, I hope you both know how much I love you. I promise to make you proud and to end this senseless war for good. That was an interesting fight. It was really short. Well, I guess it was up to you how short you wanted it to be. But, uh... Alright, I, I guess I'll end this video here, which... Probably means tomorrow will be the last episode of Birthright... And then we'll begin the first episode of Conquest, yes. And then after Conquest, we can do Revelations. So I guess I'll see you all then. Bye-bye!